Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Word video tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can change the way that images are inserted into Word documents to make it work a little bit smarter for you. Now this will work in any modern version of Microsoft Word. So typically when I choose the Insert tab and click on Pictures and click to add a picture, it's going to be inserted in a method that is called inline with text. The problem with this is that text doesn't wrap around the image and it also behaves a little unusually and in particular in earlier versions of Word, for example, you can't even rotate the image because it doesn't have a rotate handle. So there is actually a better way of inserting images in Microsoft Word and that is to do something like use the square option. Now you can always do that once an image has been inserted into Microsoft Word, but it can be very handy to change that image insert behavior so that that happens just automatically and you don't have to set the image behavior each time. Now I'm going to delete that image and we're going to the file and then option setting. What we need to do is to go to advanced. And as I said, this is going to work in all modern versions of Microsoft Word. In the advanced options, you'll need to scroll down to cut, copy and paste. So just wind that up so that you can see these settings. And here is a setting, insert, paste, pictures as, and the default is in line with text. Click the drop down menu here and choose your preferred option. And typically square is probably what you'll want to use. Click OK. In future, when you choose insert and then pictures and go and insert a picture into a document, then it's going to be inserted automatically as square. But of course, these layout options are still going to be available to you. So you could make changes if you need to. And you could select inline with text if it's one of those occasional times where inline with text is actually the option that you want to use. But I don't think it will be. I think square is a better option and that's how you configure it permanently for Microsoft Word. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Microsoft Word of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.